everyone so this month we've got a bit of a springy feeling going on it's lovely and starting to get warm outside so we're going to do this lovely uh, yellow and red tulip now the first thing we're going to do is mix up some colors we've got some nice highlights coming along the petals and the front just here and here and then we've got uh, some nice darker shadows on the underside so we can get some nice form and get that cup shape sort of going on so uh, right let's let's go and mix up some colors and let's begin okay so as you'll see I've put out a couple of new little dots of uh, my yellows because obviously the yellows in my palette have got quite dirty because I use these to mix with blues uh, for green and so we want really really clean yellow for this uh, so I've put out if you keep your paints clean and you're not like me and get them dirty then that's great but I've put out some new little bits of yellow so we're going to start with the lightest yellow so I'll just grab a little bit of water there and we're going to take a little bit of lemon yellow now mine's fresh out of the tube so it's nice and uh, nice and thick so we'll start with some lemon yellow and we're going to add a little bit of sennelier yellow light to that give it that nice goldy color and then i'm going to add a tiny little bit of um quinacridone gold to that now my quinacridone gold is not dirty so only a very tiny bit just add a little bit more so that's fine okay so let's just test that on the card. Now I'm using this colour, I'm looking at the edges of the petals. So let's just test that. Okay, that's looking quite bright. So I'm just going to test it against the plant. Yeah, that is quite bright. So we'll add a tiny little bit more quinacridone and gold just to sort of this edge here. I'm looking for that shadow colour at the edge. Let's test that. So let's just test that one. Yes, that's quite nice. So we've got that little patch there. We could pick it up and move it if we wanted to, because we don't need too much of this. So let's move it up there. Okay, and then we'll mix the rest of that together. And I'm going to water that down. So I'm just going to grab some more water. Add it to the edge of the puddle here. So we're going to have sort of a more concentrated colour and a lighter colour. So this is sort of for the lightest bit on the inside where we've got that shut where we've got that highlight going on. Yep, that's going to be nice. And then we've got this little darker area here. So let's just test that yeah okay so we've got our three yellows so we'll leave it at that for the moment we'll come and mix our reds up in a little bit we'll just start with our yellows first right so to begin we're going to start with this petal over here so i'm just going to remove a little bit of the excess graphite from that with my putty rubber so and just make it a ghost of a line just so we can see sort of what's going on. Okay. So I just remove that to there. Okay, now the reason we're starting with the yellow is because we can see the yellow coming through, just peeking through from the, uh, the pattern of the red that sits over the top of it. So we want to bring the yellow just slightly further down so that it sits underneath the red. So if we put the yellow and the red on together, they're gonna merge and that's not what we want. We want to create the texture over the top of the yellow with the red. So let's get some yellow down first. I'm using a number four today. Um, you can use a number two if you want. I'm just gonna use a number four and I'm just going to put down a little glaze of water first of all, just taking it into the red a bit. So that the yellow's got somewhere to travel. We don't have to do the whole petal. I'm just taking it slightly further than the yellow goes. Just 
just following my edge just make sure it's a nice even glaze no puddles no dry spots just get it nice and even and crisp around the edges okay and we're going to start with the palest yellow so the little bit that we watered down so just give it a little mix with a bit of water rake it up a little bit and we're going to start so where i'd put that line there that's sort of the indication of where the red will start so we're going to go slightly further than that i'm going to bring my yellow up Take it up to the edge. Okay, and we've got a flash that comes down the side as well. So let's pop that in. We've got a flash down there and we've got a flash that comes down just down there. So we want to get those in. You can bring them slightly longer than they need to be. We can just see that little bit of it poking through at the edge. Okay, and then we can let this settle, let it travel a little bit and do its thing. Okay, so now I'm going to wash the brush, dry it off on some kitchen roll, take all the water out, and where I have that sort of, that little bit of a line there, I'm going to just sweep up with my brush and just create that highlight that we can see. So just lift it out. And you don't need to worry if you can see a little bit of graphite because that's going to be hidden underneath the uh, underneath the red. Or we can try and erase it out later. So just lifting that little bit and make sure you wipe your brush after every time of lifting on the kitchen roll because um, you'll just put pigment back onto the paper where you've lifted it out. I'm just going to lift a tiny little bit there and just a tiny little bit up there just so I know that those are the bits where the flashes come through. And then I'm going to wet my brush again, just dampen it a bit and pick up a tiny little bit of that darker color that we mixed that we put to one side at the top. And I'm just gonna drop a little bit of that right along the edge using the tip of my brush just while it's still slightly damp and I can get away with it. So just coming down here to about there, wash my brush again, take the water out and then I'm just going to tickle at the edge of that just to soften it in. And we'll come back and we'll add a bit more colour to it later on. We're just getting that first, those first layers established. Okay, and then we're going to leave that petal to dry. So let's jump over to this one now while that one's drying. And again, let's just take away the excess graphite with the putty rubber. We've got the markings there where it shows where the red starts to come in and where our highlight is. So let's just remove that little bit of graphite. Okay. So exactly the same, let's put a bit of a glaze down and the yellow comes down just about here. So it goes slightly further. Again, we've got just a little flush of yellow at the side there. So make sure we've got a nice even glaze and you want very clean water for this. You don't want murky water, you want our yellow, we want our yellows to be really pure, really bright. So got a little bit of a hair on my brush there. So I'm just making sure that I've got enough water down so that my paint can travel. And again, let's pick up that, uh, that lighter one, that lighter yellow, and begin with that. I'm going to start down here and just sweep it along the edge. Let it travel, let it do its thing. 
So where we've got those little markings there, we just want it to come slightly further than that. And it should, the paint should disperse and work its way down. I want a little bit of yellow just at the edge there. And coming up into the tip. Just making sure it's nice and even. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna wash my brush, take all of the water out, and I'm going to lift out the highlight. So it comes in a sort of curved shape there. Let's just have a look, make sure I've got that right. Comes up to the tip here, like that. Wash my brush again, take the water out again. I'm just going to adjust it slightly. Bring it up to there. So just keep drying on the kitchen towel and pulling through until you feel comfortable, until you feel confident you've got the shape right and you're happy that you've pulled enough colour out. Okay, and then again, we're going to pick up a tiny little bit of that dark colour. And while the paper's still wet, we're just going to drop that in. So just from this edge here, coming up to the highlights. And into the point at the top there. Just have a look. You can pull it just a little bit further down towards the highlight there. And that funny shape. Okay, washing my brush, taking the water out, and again, just tickling at the edge just to diffuse the colour. And make sure we've got... Make sure there's no harsh lines. Let's pull that down slightly, just a little bit more. Okay, and then we can leave that one to dry. Right, so because these two sides are wet, we're just going to drop down here and fill in this little section of yellow just there. And I'm going to drop down to a number two for that because it's only a tiny little section. So let's just lighten the graphite here and I'm not going to worry about that little bit of graphite that's just sitting there because once all the paint's dry I can come in with a Tombow and uh, get rid of that but you don't want to erase until it's completely dry so we'll just take away the excess okay so I've got my number two, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of water. That's probably a little bit too much. Let's just get some of that off and just fill in this little section here. And we've got some little tiny flashes of purple through there. Um, and we'll put those in later on, that'll be nice. So just making sure that I stay within my boundary and I don't come into the petals either side. And again, I'm just going slightly further so the paint's got somewhere to flow into. Okay, so I've got my little glaze on. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of the lighter yellow. And we're gonna drop that in here. Okay, I'm just going to wash my brush off and just dry it off on the kitchen towel a little bit and use what's on the page just to tickle through. And just bring it up there. And so just tickling at the edges so there's no harsh lines. Okay, and then we're going to pick up a little bit of that darker colour that we mixed. And we're going to drop that right at the side here and we can use it as our shadow colour. And again, just up the side here. 
and a tiny little bit just down there and then I'm going to wash my brush take all the water out and sweep up that central bit that little sort of central vein so that that's nice and clean well it would be if I didn't have a, a little hair in it let's get rid of you go away and then I'm just gonna again tickle at the edges of that darker color just to fade it out wash my brush take the water out again and tickle at the edge over here wash my brush again take the water out and just maneuver the paint until I'm happy with how it sits so we want to be able to see that defined area of shadow and then our lighter bit of yellow as well let's just have a look I'm just going to pick up a tiny little bit of the darker color again and just come down into this little bit there and up up this left hand side of that central bit and just a little bit more on the right hand side as well just make a bit more of a thing of it wash my brush take the water out and again just diffuse the edge of that just tapping at the edge of it I still want it to be an edge but I don't want it to be harsh okay right and then we'll leave that to dry okay and then we're going while we've got the number two we're going to come up to that little tiny edge there we're not going to fill in this inside here because we need to make we need to add a bit of blue and make that a bit greeny for the shadow in there so we're just going to fill in this little edge so just remove the graphite again. Okay. And then I'm going to go straight into the lighter, the lighter mix of paint that we made up. Pick up a little bit of that. And because it's such a small area, I'm not going to put a glaze down. We're just going to paint this in dry. So we're just going to fill that little area with that bit of colour. Coming up to the edge of that petal that sits next to it. I've got a bit too much paint on my brush there, so I'm going to wash my brush, take the water out and just pick up that little bit of excess. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up some of the darker colour again, just a little bit. And I'm going to run that along the top edge and just tap it on so that we've just got a slightly lighter inner edge there. Wash my brush, take the water out and just use the tip to come up the inside here and again just making sure that I've got that ever such a slightly lighter bit on the inside and once we've got the shadow colour on that light area will be a little bit more apparent then I'm just going to swipe up here just a tiny bit more always take my edge darker later just want to make sure I've got that little bit of light okay so we're just going to fill in this little section here as well where we can see the back of that petal there so again just picking up a tiny little bit of the lighter yellow paint straight on the brush and just filling in tiny little triangular section there okay wash my brush take the water out 
and just use the brush again to mop up any excess. Now I need that slightly darker, so I'm going to pick up not the not the very darkish yellow that we put separate, but the uh, the middle, the middle yellow. I'm just going to drop a little bit of that into the edge. And just there, wash my brush, take the water out. And just tease it down. Just there. Okay. And then while we're here, and that, uh, that little bottom bit wasn't much, it should be okay to go either side now and pop in the little bits of yellow at the bottom. So we'll start with this side. So let's just remove that bit of graphite there. And we will put a little bit of a glaze down here. So let's just uh, get rid of a little bit of water there, a little bit too much. Um, so we'll just pop a little bit of a glaze in. And again, you can go slightly further than you need to, so it's got somewhere to run. Don't worry about that yellow going underneath the red. That's exactly what we want. Okay, a little bit of the lighter yellow. It's quite pale over here. So I'm just going to take the excess paint off my brush. Work with what I've got. Mop a little bit of it up. Just pull it up to the edge. Wipe my brush off again. and just finesse it a little bit. So we've just got that little bit of lighter yellow there. Okay, and then let's do the same on the other side. Let's just remove any excess graphite. Okay, so a little bit of a glaze. Let's just have a look. quite thin in here a little bit too much water on my brush there so I've just wiped off the excess and again I'm just taking that water slightly further than I need it picking up a little bit of the light yellow Pulling it through. And then again, I'm going to take off the excess and just tease that colour up so that it becomes paler. And just pull it up to around there. These little hairs are driving me mad. Okay. Right, so we'll leave that bit to dry. Okay, and now we're going to work this top petal in section. So I'm going to go back to my number four. We're going to come through the middle. So we'll put our middle glaze on and then we're going to go either side, but we don't need to wait until it's all dry. We can do it sort of at the same time. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So let's just remove that excess graphite. Removing as much as I can while still having a little bit of a line there, a little bit of a guide. Okay, right, so let's glaze now through the center. So we're just going to sort of sweep up the middle with our water, a little bit too much there. So I can just mop it up. I'm just going to come up to the top 
and slightly over to either side so I've got a little bit of water either side but mainly focused on that bit down the middle and bring it slightly lower okay right let's grab a little bit of the lighter yellow with our palest mix and we're going to sweep that down the centre tapers off down there around the bottom and just bring it up to the tip just get that little hair out there and then I'm just going to lift a little bit of light directly through the center there Okay, so what I do is I sort of flatten my brush, pull it out between my fingers so that it's a nice sharp edge, and then just pull. Okay, and then let's grab a little bit more water, and we'll go for this side first. So we'll put our bit of a glaze on, come in slightly further than the red again. Then, uh, sorry, slightly further than we need to again. So we're going underneath the red and up to the edge there. Let's just have a look. Okay, and then again, let's pick up some of that paler yellow and just drop that in. You can bring it up to meet that middle bit that we put in. And then I'm just pulling it down. Washing my brush, taking the water off, and then I'm just going to sweep at the edge there. So that we don't get any harsh lines. And then I'm just going to lift a little bit of light here. Just lift a little bit more just there. And again, let's pick up some of that darker colour just a little bit. In fact, I need to... Uh, Add a little bit of water and wake it up now. So let's pick up a little bit of that and we're coming over the top. To the tip of the petal there. And I'm just going to tease it through with the point of my brush okay wash my brush take the water out and just again tickle at the edge so that it's nice and soft okay grab a little bit more water and then we can come down the other side there's not much highlight on the other side so we won't be lifting out of there so I'm just going to drop the glaze in and again further further than uh, I need okay picking up the lighter yellow and we're going to drop that in Paying attention to the flower so that we're going where we're supposed to be. Wash my brush, take the water out. I'm just going to catch the edge there so that again, don't get any harsh lines. 
I'm going to lift a tiny little bit of light through there just to sweep. I don't want it to go back to white, I just want a little bit of light. And then again, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the darker colour. And it's not that apparent here, so I'm just going to sweep it around the very edge there. Wash my brush, take the water out, and again, just soften it in. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up a tiny little bit of the middle, the middle yellow. So just on the tip of my brush and I want to just create a little bit of shadow. So where we pulled that light through the center, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull a little bit of this middle yellow through either side of that light. So we've sort of got two lines and I'm going to quickly wash the brush take the water out and just pull down either side just to soften it so that we've got those little bit of shadows and that lighter center wash the brush take the water out and again i'm just going to soften this edge Another little hair there. I'm just going to pick up a little tiny bit more of that colour just on the tip of my brush and just pull a little bit through just there at the top. Wash the brush, take the water out and again just soften that down. Okay, so we want to leave all this to thoroughly dry now. Okay, and so while that dries, we're just going to make up that tiny little bit of green for um, the inside of that one petal that's sitting in shadow. So I'll just pop a little bit of water down there. I'm going to pick up a little bit of our yellow and drop it in just a little bit more. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit of French ultramarine, just very slowly. We don't want to go too mad. Okay, I need a little bit more yellow, so I'm going to pick up a little bit of the Sennelier Yellow Light. Add a tiny little bit of the Quinacridone Gold. And let's just test that. Okay, we need to go slightly darker with everything, so I'm going to add a little bit more of the Sennelier Yellow Light. It just needs to be thicker. It's not quite... Uh, quite thick enough. A little bit more Sennelier Yellow Light, a little bit more Crinacridone Gold, and again, a little bit of French Ultramarine. So just tiny little bits at a time. There we go. Let's just check that. Okay, and then I'll just check that against the plants. Tiny, tiny little bit more French Ultramarine. That was a tiny bit. Let's just add a little bit more and test. No, let's add a little bit more. Okay, let's just test that. Yeah, so that's about the right colour. So we can use that for that little bit of shadow now. Okay, so let's go to the number two. And while that, uh, while all of this is drying, let's just pick up a little bit of that green. You can pick it straight up on the brush because it's only, only a small area. Let's just pick it up and let's just drop it inside. Okay, and there's a little bit of red that sits at the bottom. We'll add that in later. So keep your edge nice and clean drag it all the way down so that's the beauty of nice pointy brushes is that you can keep a nice clean sharp edge just 
add it in there. Let's just take a little bit of the excess off my brush and use what's left on the paper to just come up to the edge here. And there's another little hair that, gosh, driving me absolutely bonkers today. I'm just going to pick up a tiny little bit more so I can just, so when I pick it up, I'm going to twirl my brush into a point as well on the palette as I pick it up. So it's nice and pointy and just really sharpen up that edge. Okay, right, so again, let's just leave everything to dry now. Okay, so let's mix up our reds while we're waiting for everything to dry out. So let's grab a little bit of water, pop that down. We we'll want quite a, quite a decent puddle of this. Okay, and I'm going to start with uh, Pyrrhal Red, Pyrrhal Scarlet, which is over here, which is quite a vibrant sort of orangey red. So let's grab a little bit of that. You can see how vibrant that is. And we're going to add to that a little bit of permanent alizarin crimson. So let's add it in stages, add bits at a time. Okay, and then let's just check that on the card and test it against the plant. Okay, I'll just check that. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice for uh, for our main colour. And then we want a little bit that's darker than this as well. So we're going to take a bit more of that, that Pyrrha Scarlet, pop it down here, and then quite a bit more permanent alizarin crimson. Let's drop that in. So we've got a bit of a deeper red for the shadows. Okay, and then let's just test that. Now you'll note I didn't add any water to that. I may do so in a minute. Actually, no, that's quite nice. We can add some water if we need to as we go along. That's quite nice there. Okay, right, so those are our two reds for the moment. Okay, so we're all dry over here now. So what I want to do is start laying down our base layer of reds. So let's just... Get rid of that last bit of graphite. I'll just grab my Tombow wherever it's gone. Here you are. And I'm just going to get rid of that little bit in there that I spoke about now that it's all dry. Okay. Right. So when I put the red on, I'm going to put a glaze down and add the red into the glaze. But I don't want to start bringing in any of the texture that we've got coming from here up over into the yellow. I just want to get a base layer down and we'll bring in the texture later on. So let's put a bit of a glaze and we're going to be careful about where we place this glaze. So while we want the red coming up into these points here, I don't want to concentrate on that now. I just want to concentrate on getting the main body round here and lifting the light through. So let's uh, let's add our glaze. We want to stay away as well from this bottom area of yellow. So we're going to place our glaze just inside where we've got this white space here. And we're going to take it just into the yellow on this side. And as long as you've got your glaze down, your paint can travel and you don't need to worry about your harsh edges. So we're just going to come up sort of to there. Okay, nice crisp edge as well. We want to keep that and we're going to pick up a little bit of that first red we mixed, the paler one. It's quite an explosive colour so you won't need 
too much on your brush. And then I'm just going to drop that in. Up the side. Let it travel, let it do its thing. Just tease it along. Take the excess water out of my brush and pick up just a little bit more paint. And then I'm going to start teasing it into place to where I want it. So it can come towards the edge here a little bit. Just going to tease up of there slightly. I don't mind having that harsh edge he here because we've got one there. Just going to tap a little bit of it sort of to here. Pull it through. And then let's start teasing at the bottom, just working with what we've got. And we can pull it into shape down here. So we've got some little points. Just making sure I'm exactly where I want to be. So I need to come a little bit further. And just got these little points that come down. So you can just use the tip of your brush to tease those along. Okay, and then I'm going to take the water out of my brush, or rather wash my brush, take the water out. I'm going to tickle at this edge first so that it doesn't leave any harsh lines. Just there. Wash my brush again, take the water out, and then I'm going to sweep some light up this side. a little bit up there. Let's do that again. And then there's another little bit next to it. So I'm just going to sweep that through, wash my brush, take the water out. And then we've got another little highlight just coming from here. We can always darken this colour up afterwards. Don't worry, I'm thinking that your colour's not dark enough or anything like that. We're just establishing our base. Okay. So just those couple of bits of light up there. Wash my brush, take the water out. And then while I still can, I'm just going to tickle at the edges here. It doesn't matter if you can't work into them if they're completely dry and you haven't put enough water on because we're going to sort of build up, like I said, with the red. So don't panic. And just diffusing them a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to pick up a tiny little bit more of that colour on the brush. And I'm going to come in between my highlights now and just sort of run it up while it's still a little bit damp. Just up through this middle section. Down in between those highlights there. down in between this highlight here and just a little bit there wash my brush again take the water out and just soften in places so just go around the edge of the tip of my brush soften it off Pull through that highlight, soften off. Every time you go through a highlight, make sure to wash your brush 
and take the water out because you're going to place pigment back down into that highlight. So just building up nice and softly. Soften that edge there. Okay, and then we'll just leave that alone now. Okay, so let's move on to the middle petal and we're going to work in two sections. We're going to work on this side and then this side. So we will bring a little bit of a glaze in to our first side. So we're gonna come right up against the edge of this petal and just up to the edge of the yellow here. And just there and then just above our yellow at the bottom and up to the center so we want to come down the side here and so basically just in that area of white again Just take away any excess water. Okay, then we're going to pick up some of that same red again. Again, not too much because it is a very explosive colour. Very careful around the edge here. We want to retain that nice yellow edge with the petal next to it. Just dropping it down, tapping it towards that yellow and then coming up the side and just keep an eye on your flower as well while you're doing this keep a have a look at your reference okay and then let's tease this up Just cleaning up my edge sorry just tease this up it comes up around there but we don't want to go that far yet just tease it up to about there sorry about that okay and then we'll wash the brush take the water out and we're going to there's a little bit of light it comes through here, so let's just sweep that through there. A little bit here as well. Let's just pull that through. Make sure you've got enough. Just going to use my brush at the very tip and pull a few strokes sort of like that going upwards okay and then wash my brush take the water out again and let's just tickle at that edge and feather it off a little bit and just here Just diffuse the edge down the side of this yellow, just there, so it's not harsh. 
Okay, and then come to the bottom. And I'm going to do the same, just going to tickle at the edge. So we've got that little bit of purple to go in there as well. So this bit at the bottom here can be a little bit uneven. Okay, and now while we're here, we're going to pick up a tiny little bit of the darker red. So you might need to add a little bit of water to it. Let's just pick up a little bit of that on the tip of the brush. And we're going to pop this in at the side here. Now there's a little bit of shadow. And then we're going to pull some through, coming towards the centre there. And just sweep a bit of it up. Wash the brush take all of the water out and then let's just gently diffuse that into the red we've already got pull it down here I'm just going to pull it up a little bit towards that highlight. Wash my brush again, taking the water out and just making sure, going around, making sure I've got no harsh edges. Gonna grab a tiny little bit more of that color just on the tip of my brush and again come down that side deepen it up slightly further and just tease it down towards this base by the yellow where the purple is going to sit so I'm just using the very tip of my brush to just pull little bits of darker color through Okay, and then we can leave that bit to dry now. Okay, so let's ignore the centre section for a minute. Let's put a glaze on the other half. So I'm making sure to leave that bit of yellow through there. That little yellow flash. Okay, and then again, put the glaze. Got a bit too much water there. I'll just take the excess away. Pull the glaze through the white space up to about as high as we pulled it on the other side and up to the edge of the other petal. Okay, let's pick up a bit of that first red, the paler one. And let's drop that in. I'm going to come from the edge again so that it can spread outwards. And I get my nice crisp yellow edge on this side. So use the point of your brush to follow that contour. Stop there. And we'll work it into the rest of the area. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush, take the water out, and again I'm just going to tickle this edge, wash my brush again, take the water out, and just keep doing it till it disperses as I want it to. Okay, 
I'm just going to come down the side there. And I'm just tapping here because we've got a little bit of texture so we can afford to uh, to have that there. And then I've just washed my brush, taken the water out. I'm twirling it into a point. And I'm just going to come up from that centre. Just clean up there. And then let's pull our little bit of light through. It's slightly lower on this side. So it's around here. So let's just... Pull that through, wash the brush, take the water out. And again, let's go for that. Okay, and then I'm gonna wash my brush, take the water out, twirl it into a point, and again, just gonna flick through that. Pull a few little bits of light through. And then just go through the center again okay let's pick up a little bit of the darker red again and sweep this through the bottom and take it up to your edge there And come down here where it's going to meet that sort of purpley bit. And then using the tip again, I'm just going to tease it upwards. Towards that highlight. A little bit of a shadow here and I just want to make sure that my edge is nice and clean okay just going to grab a little bit more of that I'm going to come a little bit closer to the yellow there, just up this side, using the sharp edge of the brush to just add a, a bit of a darker area here. And then we've got two sort of stripes up the centre here. So let's just have a look. So from where, we, where we've got this little central vein here, I'm just going to follow the curve of it up and again this side follow it up so we're beginning those two little stripe oh knocking everything over so we're beginning those two little stripes of red and let's pull them through with what's on the brush So you can see that the paint that's left on my brush is quite dry now, which is exactly what I want. So we're just going to pull those two stripes upwards and they're either side of that highlight that we left. So we've got a good little guide as to where we want to be. going to grab a little bit more paint on my brush I'm going to close the gap here a little bit and not leave so much yellow space so that I've got this darker area of shadow there Grab a little bit more of that darker colour and I'm going to come on this side now again to just define that and just sweep a little bit more of it through that area there. And 
then let's take a little bit more just through that section I'll just pick a little bit more up I'm just brushing it through okay and then we can leave that to dry and you can see we're starting to build up some form already the shape of that that cup shaped flower so let's leave that to dry and we'll move on to the next one right so on to the last one let's take out the rest of that graphite and on this one we've got two little sweeps of highlight to pull through and that's where those graphite lines were let's just try and lighten that a little bit more okay so let's go and get our glaze on so again make sure to leave that area of yellow at the bottom there I'm just going to pull up the side. I'm going to take my glaze up to those sort of dashed lines that we had. Got a bit too much water, so I'll wipe the excess away and then use what's on my brush to just pull up the side here. I've got a little flash of yellow through there, so we want to leave that alone so I just come up to here okay picking up a bit of the paler red and I'm determined to knock everything over today apparently so let's start dropping it in here let it do its thing bring it upwards just tapping it in Okay, then we can sweep it nice and cleanly up the edge. Okay. And then I want to leave that little area of yellow, but there is a little thin thin band of red at the side there so we're just going to pull that up leave our little flash of yellow through and come to about here let's look at the bottom pull this down slightly further into those little points we'll just wash the brush take the water out and diffuse those little bits slightly so that they're quite pale wash the brush take the water out again and just diffuse them again okay and then we'll just tickle away at the edge there. In fact, I'm just going to swipe that bit there. So I don't want a harsh line. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. Okay, and then now we'll sweep our little bits of light through. We've got one that comes here. Let's do that again. Get that curve. I'm not trying to take this back to white and just getting the shape correct okay and then we've got one at the back 
So let's just sweep that through. Need to be at a better angle. Wipe my brush again. Let's just have a look. So they're not as prominent as the uh, as the ones on the other side. Does that come high enough? Let me just sweep through a tiny bit more. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up a little tiny bit of the red again, that lighter red, and just add a little bit more in, just like we did on the other side, just between those highlights just to add a little bit of depth of colour while it's still damp pull it up a little bit and I'm going to shorten my highlight here a little bit to get a better shape on it Okay, wash my brush, take all the water out so it's nice and dry. And then I'm just going to sweep through my highlights again, soften that, tickle through what I've just put down and just soften that. Wash my brush again, take the water out, and just tickle the edge there. Okay, and then I'll leave that to dry as well. And one last thing before we leave the whole of that flower to dry, I just want to add a little bit of a glaze just to that greeny area. Just a tiny bit just down here. Just in there. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear Cooper, I'll go and let him out in one second. We just need to get that little bit of red in. He's just had, uh, he's just had an operation actually and he's, uh, he's been quite quiet. Sorry, pick up a tiny little bit of the, um, the paler red, drop it into that glaze, let it run up slightly. Wash the brush, take the water out and just soften it okay right i'll go and get rid of barking dog and we'll leave all that to dry right okay so everything is completely dry now i've left it for uh, quite a long time to dry out and now that we've got that red on i can see that we need uh, to add some additional yellow just to the paler areas where it meets the red because it's not quite deep enough so I'm just going to um, water down a little bit of that pale yellow that we've been using. Just add a little bit of water to it so it's almost like a tea wash. And I'm going to pick that up on my number four. And I'm just going to sweep it on to the areas where I feel that it's not dark enough. So I'm just going to bring it all the way in here. I'm going to come underneath that highlight bring it down towards the edges because don't forget we want this to sit underneath that red I'm just going to sweep it on there I'm going to take a little bit just into that top area as well and then I'm going to wash the brush, take all the water out, and I'm just going to sweep up the edges just to make sure that there's no harsh edge again. Just, just to soften it out. Okay, then let's pick up a little bit more. I'm going to add some to this little section here. Just bring a little bit more into there and while we're here we'll bring a bit more 
to this side. Leaving just a little bit of a gap. I'm taking it just into the red there. I'm going to take it a little bit further into the red here. Okay, wash the brush again. Take the water out. And again, I'm just going to sweep up there. Just around the edges, just so there's no harsh lines. Just soften everything out. And don't forget, every time you sweep through a highlighted area, do wipe your brush. Sweep through there again. Okay, then let's pick up a little bit more again. And we'll come over to this section here. It's just because I really want this yellow to be apparent underneath the red. So we get that nice, that nice glow. So I'm following the curve of that highlight there. And then taking it up to the tip and just down the edge there. And add a little bit more into this darker space here. Wash the brush, take the water out. And again, let's sweep through the center through that highlight. And just give a little bit of a wiggle down there. I'm just going to sweep through again. Okay. Then I'm just going to pick up a tiny little bit more. And just come down the very edge of this bit here. Just there. Just so we're leaving that very thin gap that very thin highlight that we left earlier and again i'm just going to tickle the edge of that just there okay and then we'll leave that to dry again okay so everything's completely dry now we've left it to uh, quite a while so we've got what we're going to do is we're going to spend some time now bringing in some of the uh, very fine marks that we can see along the uh, along the yellow parts of the tulip and the petals so we're going to pick up just a tiny bit of the darker mix um but it's dried out on my palette now and i don't want to water it down so i'm just going to use a damp brush with not too much water on so i'm just going to pick up a little bit of that paint quite dry let's have a look And it's right on the tip of my brush and that's going to enable me to just bring in some really fine details and just use the very point of my brush to flick them through so from the edge and bringing them towards the highlight just very short fine marks just like that and i'm trying to also keep a curve on them too um, and making sure that uh, they go along with the form of the petal. So I'm just bringing them all the way down. And I've only picked up that one lot of paint, if you've, as you've seen. So let's just grab a little bit more. Now this area down the bottom here we can make those lines slightly longer. So I'm just gonna pull them gently through that highlight. Okay, just there. And we can build on these later on as well if we feel we need more. So let's just grab a little bit more. And then I can bring some in from the next petal. We don't need to wait for each side to dry either because uh, we're using dry paint. So we can just go straight in. And I'm just 
doing exactly the same here, just flicking them through. And I'm just bringing again a slight curve in. Making some longer than others. And then curving again as I get to the top. Okay, let's just make sure we've got a few up that corner there. And I'm also, while these colours on my brush, I'm just going to redefine the edge of this petal ever so slightly. Just darken it up a tiny little bit there. Okay, just grab a little tiny bit more. And then where we created those lines, either side of the highlight, I'm just going to pull a little bit down through there, just to give those a bit more definition. And I'm going to come in from this side now. now I've got a couple of hairs that have come off my brush, I'm just going to leave that for a minute. I'll come and pick those up later. So again, just bringing in a little bit of fine detail. Just there. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up a little bit more. And we can work on the outer petal now. Now our darkest area is in this little fold here. So we'll start there and bringing it towards the highlight. Okay. And again, I'm just going to redefine the edge of this, just a little bit of extra colour there. Okay, and then we'll come back down, we'll start from down here and we'll just start sweeping in a few from the bottom now. Just need to pick up a little bit more, just dry it out a little bit too much there. Okay, and then we are going to bring some through the highlight here. And then they sort of fade out as we get further up. So I can afford to just deepen up a little tiny bit in here. Okay, and let's have a look at the top now. So we've got bit of a fold just up here so it's just pull a few lines through and then I'm just going to sort of create a little bit of a darker area there and I'll wash my brush take the water out and just tickle at the edge of that Okay, let's have a look. Now I'm just going to, exactly the same, the other paint's dried out as well, so the lighter colour's dried out. And so with a damp brush, not wet, just damp, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that lighter colour. And I'm going to bring that, start sweeping it down through the top here. Just a few, just as so it fades out from our darker mark, our darker marks rather, and it can just go a little bit through the highlight there. Pick up a tiny bit more. And I'm just going to extend a couple of these just to come through the highlight. Only a few. Okay. And now I'm going to wet my brush, pick up a little bit of the lighter paint. So I want it a little bit wetter so you can make a 
a little bit of a wet puddle there. And I'm just going to very gently deepen up uh, these bits underneath here. So I'm just sweeping in a tiny little bit of yellow. Just there, wash my brush, take the water out and just tickle at the edges. I just wanted it slightly darker down there. Okay. Right, so we'll start working on the red again now. So I'm gonna move up to my number four brush and just as we've just been doing, so keeping the brush just damp, not wet, and picking up little bits of paint at a time, quite dry, we're going to do that with the first red that we mixed. So we're gonna pick a little bit of it up, quite dry. And so my brush is naturally splayed out on the palette like that. So it's almost with sort of dry brushing. So nice dry paint, and I'm gonna use this now to just pull up and start bringing in some of the texture that we can see. So if you wanna have a practice on, uh, on a little bit of card first, so you know um, just what the consistency of the paint you wanna be picking up is like, then do so. It's really nice and dry. When you move your brush across the palette, it will naturally make it splay out like mine has. And you're just putting down little bits of paint and it'll give you this nice texture that we can see appearing. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more. So just little bits at a time. And we can start building up the colour and bringing some of that texture in towards the yellow a bit more. So just start extending it. And we can use those little hairs that are splayed out to just add some lovely little marks. Just build it up nice and slowly. Just need a little bit more water on my brush now. So I'm just very softly from the edge, pulling up into the yellow. Grab a little bit more. I'm just keeping an eye on the reference as we go. And just start pulling up a few little sort of veiny marks up there. Just going nice and slowly. So you don't have to rush this at all. So I'm going to come from the edge of the highlight there. We can bring some little bits in now, start coming a bit further. And you can see it's really starting to build up that lovely texture that's uh, it's evident on the petals. So I'm just constantly keeping an eye on the reference. 
build up small areas at a time. Have a look up here, it can come up a little bit further up here, a little bit further into the yellow. I'm just using those very fine hairs to put in those little marks. I can come right up to the tip there because there's a little bit that goes right up to the top of the petal and it just creates sort of a little V shape here. And then we can start working from this section and just creating our shape that we can see. Being mindful of leaving that little flash of yellow at the side. Just using the very, very last hairs on the brush to just build up nice and slowly. Okay, I'm going to come back to this side now and just again, just extend a bit ever so slightly. So I'm just going to work into the the um, outer areas where it hits, where the red hits the yellow uh, before I come and deepen up the middle. Make sure I'm happy with the shape that we've got. Let's pick up a little bit more. Now I'm just going to come in between those highlights there. Still using the dry brush. And then I'm just going to flick through the highlights just so that uh, we just dull them up a bit. They're not going to disappear but they're not going to be as bright white. That's just what we want. Grab a bit more. And then again, I'm going to do the same through this highlight. Just going to bring a little bit of the red through. Just running out a bit there, so I'll pick up a little bit more. Okay. Okay, and now the texture just here is a little bit smoother, so I'm going to pick up my paint just slightly wetter. Um, and then we're going to again just start pulling through. Use the very last hairs on the brush to just again create that texture that we've got coming down into the yellow. And then I'm just going to pull through and upwards and just start darkening up that area of red there. So I'm still using the same, um, the same sort of technique. I'm still pulling through nice and slowly, but my paint's just that little bit wetter. It's just flowing a little bit more. Just 
just grab a little bit more and then we'll come between the two highlights there and then nice and careful with the point of the brush as we come to the edge of the petal just here and now with what's left of my brush I'm just going to flick a little bit through the highlight just like we did earlier and this one it just dulls it down slightly Up a tiny bit more, and come a little bit closer to that highlight there, and just shorten it slightly. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to pick up a tiny little bit of the darker red. Again, not uh, not wet, quite dry. I'm just going to pick up a little tiny bit just on the tip of the brush. I'm just going to deepen up a couple of areas. So I'm just going to pull a little bit through between those two highlights there. And... Just bring it up the side there. I'm going to pull a little bit through underneath this highlight here. And bring it up towards the tip. Just a little bit there. Then I'm going to wash my brush, take all the water out, make sure you've done it well because on a size 4 obviously holds more water and I'm just going to feather at the edge there just where I think that uh, we could possibly get a harsh mark and just soften it out okay and then I'm just going to pick up a tiny little bit more of that on the tip of the brush and using the very, very point, I'm just going to very gently sweep a few lines through here where we can see them. Just there. And we're going to bring some more yellow in here. Because now that we've got the, uh, the red on, we can see it's not quite deep enough. Now I'm going to go back and pick up a little bit more of the first red, the paler red, nice and dry. And again, I'm just going to build up a little bit more colour down here. So I'm just gently brushing that colour on, pick up a little bit more. Every time I'm picking up, I'm making sure that brush is nice and splayed on the palette. I'm just deepening up just where I feel it needs it. And if I feel that the red needs extending at all, I can do that now as well. Okay. 
Let's just look at this bottom area here. I think we can bring a bit more red right towards the edge of the petal there. And I think we can just extend these little, little bits here just a tiny bit further into that yellow. Almost there. Okay, and then I'm going to wash my brush, take all the water out so it's just damp. And what I'm going to do is I'm just, with that damp brush with no paint on, I'm just going to tickle through those highlights. And that'll sort of just pick up a little bit of pigment and dull them down a little bit more. So I'm just very gently tickling through. Like that. Okay. And before we finish on this petal, I'm going to jump back down to the number two. I'm going to pick up some of that darker yellow again, nice and dry on the brush, so just a damp brush. And then we're going to strengthen up some of these lines that we've got at the edge, give that edge a darker colour. And we're going to bring a couple through to meet the red now. Just pick up a little bit more. Remember to keep that curve and I'm going to bring a few of these just from the red up and outwards towards the tip and again down here we can just add a few more just there okay Right, so let's do exactly the same on the middle petal now. So we've got our red on the brush and we're going to start at the top and just sweep in some of that texture up here. There's a little bit of a, a gap there, so I'm just going to leave that and jump over it. And if, don't forget that if you feel you need more paint on your brush, just go and pick some up. So I need to come slightly further out. So I'll just do that now. Just extend it slightly. And then I've got a little bit of a highlight in there. Okay. And then it doesn't quite come up to the, uh, the edge of that central vein. It comes just shy of it, so that's where we'll stay. I'll just pick up some more red. And now I'm going to start coming this way. So I'm just going to stroke this way down towards this highlight because we want to bring just a little bit of texture into this highlight and build up the colour. And we don't want to fill it. Okay, let's just grab a little bit more because it's starting to dry out a bit too much now. And then I'm going to come from the bottom and come up towards the highlight. So you can stroke whichever way you're comfortable. 
just take a little bit of texture up towards that there. Okay, just grab a little bit more paint. And then we need to close this gap here in a second. And I'll just sweep some more texture through this pale a bit here. Just a little bit more through that highlight there. Okay, and then we're going to start closing the gap here. So I just want to bring a little bit through that center. And just there. And it does come up slightly higher, so I'll just sweep a tiny bit through just there. Okay, pick up a little bit more. And I'm just going to extend this little bit here. Now I've got to come in with the purple here. So I'm not, uh, not coming too far down. I'm just going to extend very slightly. Using the very tip of the hairs. Okay. Right. Okay, so let's do the other half. So we'll go exactly the same. Now this time it, uh, it comes slightly further in here. So I'm going to start on this side and work outwards. Get a bit of that texture down. And it comes quite high up to the yellow on this side here, just there. I think just pick up a bit more. Okay, and then we'll start coming down towards the highlight now. little bit more it's going to start sweeping into the top of the highlight there and then again we can start sweeping up from underneath take a little bit of texture into that highlight as we can see okay and sweep a little bit more through the base here you might just bring in a bit more of that darker red again just add a little bit more shadow and then I'm just going to extend the red down here again. Oops, like we did on the other side. I'm just looking at the shape that it sits in.
Okay, and I am going to pick up just a tiny bit of that darker red. Still picking it up dry. I'm just going to sweep a little bit more through this base here, right up to the edge of that petal there. And just build it up a little bit. So that depth, pick up a bit more. And through this side. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit more. I'm just going to jump back over to here and I'm going to bring some just against this highlight here. Very slightly, just there. And just behind this one again. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my first red now, the paler red. Let's grab a little bit of that. Just going to very, add a little tiny bit more here. Not much, just a tiny little bit there. Tiny little bit more in this side. Okay, and then we can start on this petal now as well. So let's just have a look what we're working with. So we can come right up to the edge there and start working that texture down. And the curve's slightly different on this one, it comes around this way. So make sure you note that and to follow the direction of growth when you're bringing in your texture. Let's just keep coming down. I'm just going to grab a bit more. I think I've got a hair on my brush, yeah, I have. There we go. Just going to work into that little bit there. Okay, we can work a little bit towards that highlight and just drag a little bit of texture through the edge there. And then we can grab some more. And we can start coming behind. And working our way between the highlights here. In fact, I'm just going to make my paint a tiny bit more liquidy, just like we did on the first petal. And just start sweeping through. Just make it flow a little bit easier. It's a bit smoother in here again. And behind. 
find this highlight here. Make sure you keep a nice, clean, crisp edge as you're coming round. Okay, I'm just going to grab a tiny little bit of the darker red. And we're going to bring that directly up behind that highlight there. Give it a little bit of shadow. And behind this one, wash the brush. Take as much of the water out as you can. And then just soften that edge there. And this one. Okay. And I'm going to wash my brush again, take the water out. And just like that we did over there, I'm just going to tickle at this highlight. And that'll just diffuse it slightly. And this one, just knock it back a little bit. Okay, so let's let that dry now. Okay, so while all that red's drying, let's just mix up that tiny bit of purple and the green for the stem. So I'm just going to use the yellow that we've already got here. So let's just uh, add a little bit of water to it. May as well use it. And we're going to add a little bit of uh, French ultramarine to that. Okay, just a tiny bit more. And we'll just bring in a little bit of, uh, a little bit more Sennelier yellow light. Tiny bit more French ultramarine. Just till we get the colour that we want. A little bit more. Let's just check that on the card. May want it a little bit fresher than that. I'll just check it against the plant. Oh no, actually, that's really nice. Yeah, that'll do. Right, so we've got that. And then let's mix up the little bit of purple that we need. It's only a tiny bit. So we'll use this dark red that we've already got here and we'll just add a tiny bit of uh, French ultramarine to it. So keep the bases of everything the same. So I'm just adding a tiny bit to that corner there. Let's just check that. Needs to be a little bit bluer, add a little bit more French ultramarine. Let's just check that. Yeah, so about that is what we need. Um, and I'm just going to wash the brush. And I'm just going to pick up a little tiny bit of quinacridone gold and just add that to that darker, that little darker pile we had there. Okay. Okay, so I'm jumping back down to the number two now and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that quinacridone gold that we just put down, just a tiny bit at the edge of the brush and we're just going to go around now and deepen up any edges that we feel could do with it. So I'm just going to give this back, that little back bit, a bit of an outline there. I'm going to very slightly deepen up the edge there. Going to deepen up over this back bit a little bit further and just into this bend here, just that little fold. Just give that a little bit more definition there. Wash the brush, take the water out, and then if you feel you need to diffuse, you can do that. If you don't, then don't bother. Okay, right, now if you feel it at all that your lines are in the yellow, so the veining in the yellow needs to go any darker, then do that now. I'm going to leave mine, I'm not going to adjust it, but if you feel you want to, then that's fine. 
I'm just going to pick up a t where we made the green. I've got a little bit of yellow left next to it, so I'm just going to pick up a tiny little bit of that on the brush. So not the quinacridone, the yellow that we were mixing to make the green. And I'm just going to neaten up the edges here, where that shadow is. And just there. And either side of that main central vein there. Wash the brush, take the water out and just tease through that. And just there. I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of that yellow again, just a little bit. And we've just got a little bit of a shadow just coming through here. And again, a little bit of one coming through this side. So I'm just going to pop those in, wash the brush, take the water out and just tickle at one side of those little lines just to diffuse. Got a little bit of a hair in there. Doesn't want to come out. Come on. Oh, they're so annoying little hairs. I'll have to pick him up with the putty rubber in a minute. Okay, and now let's pick up a tiny little bit of our purple. So just on the tip of the number two and then we're just going to tap it in just where we can see it, just here just very gently tapping it in I've probably got a little bit too much on my brush there so I'm going to wash the brush, take the water out and just tap over what I've already done with a damp brush That'll just diffuse it a little bit. Just there. Okay, pick up a tiny little bit more. And again, just finish tapping a little bit in there. It's only a very tiny bit that we want. Bringing it up, so down this side now. And it does just sort of close the gap there. Let's just tap a little bit into here. So I'm just using whatever pigments left on my brush. I'm just very gently tapping it in. Wash the brush. Take all the water out. I'm just going to sweep through that central bit there. And then just tap at anything that I feel needs diffusing. And just give it little tiny taps. Okay. Right, and now the very first red we made, so the paler red, I'm going to water a tiny patch of that down all the way so that it's a very, very pale pink, very watery pink. And I'm going to just sweep that through our highlights just to knock them back slightly further. So just a little bit of a tea wash. And again, I'm going to bring it over here. So just wash over it once and leave it. You don't want to mess too much and disturb what's underneath. So we can just leave that at that. Okay. And then we'll go on and do our stem now. Okay, so I've moved the camera down and we're just going to remove the excess graphite from the stem. Quite a long stem on this one. If you don't want yours quite as long, you don't have to. You can shorten it. I quite like the curve on it and the length. So I'm going to use my number four. Just grab some water and I'm just going to run it down through the stem. Just 
just give it a little bit of a glaze until I get to the semicircle at the bottom. I'm going to leave that free of water. Just come up the side, just make sure I've got a nice even glaze. Okay, any excess water, just tap it off on your kitchen roll. Okay, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the green. So give it a little bit of a mix just to make sure it's nice and uh, nice and mixed because you don't want um, you don't want the colours to have separated. And I'm going to drop it down the side here. So I'm using the tip of my brush to come down, letting it spread. Following the line, following the curve with the tip of the brush. Coming over the top of the semicircle at the bottom there. And then just going to come up the other side. And my stems are. Uh, I've managed to go over the edge a little bit and elongate it. So if that happens to you, like it's happened to me, just elongate all the way up so that the stem's the same thickness all the way up. Okay. Just make sure my colour's in, it's nice and even. Make sure that it comes to meet underneath the petals there. We'll add a little bit more into that in a minute for shadow. Okay, then I'm going to wash my brush. Take the water out. And where I've got that little bit of highlight up the middle, I'm just going to use my brush, sweep up through the centre. And have a little bit more highlight. So I'm going sort of through the centre and slightly to the left. Just picking up a little bit of highlight there. Wash my brush, take the water out. And I'm just going to tickle at the edge here just to finesse it a little bit. Just there. And then I'm going to leave that to dry for a minute. Okay, so now that that's dry, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the paint, the green paint on the number four again. I'm just going to create a shadow directly underneath the, uh, the flower. So I'm using the point to get the exact shape that I want. So coming around the edge of the petals there. up here so just use your point and map out that shape okay and then I'm just going to sweep a little bit into here down the edge there so I'm going to bring it sort of on a diagonal just down, wash my brush, take the water out. And then I'm just going to tickle at that edge there just to soften it. So I've got no harsh lines. Okay. And then just as we did with the red, when we were doing the dry brushing for the texture, I'm going to pick up a little bit of that green, quite dry. Let's just grab a little bit of that. 
so the brush is splayed again and I'm just going to bring a little bit of that just down this right hand side just to add a little bit of texture, a little bit of shadow just to one side of the stem just nice short little movements, we only want a tiny bit of depth just coming down this side all the way to the bottom there okay just grab a tiny bit more and a little bit more up here I can bring it into that shadow there. Okay. And I'm going to wash my brush. I'm going to water down a little part of that green so it's quite watery. I'm going to water down a little bit that mixes with the yellow at the edge of the yellow so we get a, a sort of paler yellowier green. And then I'm just going to fill in the little cut semicircle at the bottom there so just pop that in if you get a bit of a blob then take all the water out of your brush and use the tip just to mop it up so that the color is nice and even okay right okay so that's our tulip just about done so if you want to make any final adjustments then you can go ahead uh, i'm quite happy with how that's looking so i'm going to leave it and i'm going to call it done for now so i really hope you've enjoyed this one and uh, as always i hope that you've learned something i hope you found it useful and if you do your project then please tag me in it because you know i love to see them and until next time take care and i'll see you soon Bye bye